Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Reku. And today we're going to play some Discovery, the Evolution game prehistory. Now I have made a uh, play video of this earlier on on the channel, but today we are going to play the third game in the box, which is called Discovery Explore. So in this small box, it's just a deck of cards really, but there's three different games, the three different ways you can play the game with the same components. So this one here is a point scoring game. So we are have points cards over here. So we're going to try to get the most points in order to win and we'll keep playing until this drawing deck runs out. And also one of the players will have to empty out their hand. Because we will start with five cards in hand. We can take a look at me in my hand here. I have scavenging, uh, nomadism, so spare, language, and hide. And all these cards are what you do on your turn is you play a card, but all these cards have well, not all of them, not the starting ones. This one doesn't have a prerequisite, but most of them have like, in order to play the nomadism, I first have, we first have to have the band out here. And the interesting thing is we're going to have like a, a share display, like a tech tree of cards that we build up and that sort of counts for all of us. And so um, like, I don't have to have play the band in order to be able to play nomadism later on. And the cards come in sort of different eras, so and it's the deck is stacked in that order. So we start off here with the yellow card, which is the era one card, and then we go into two, and we keep going all the way up to six of human evolution. So we are going to start playing. I am the first player. Now we also have Dracos or Dracos cards are over here on the side, but we also have a bot because we are going to play with the third player, a bot automated player. And the way that works is really easy. It's just going to play whatever card sort of it has. The leftmost card is just going to try to play it. And it, it will score some points and so on. You'll see how that goes when we play. But And I have everything spread out a lot here, as you can see. But it's because we're going to build a huge uh, you know, tableau of cards out here in the middle. So let's get started. My first turn, I could play... Well, I can't really play anything else than scavenging because the other ones have prerequisites. Now, besides playing a card from my hand, I could also play a card out here from the uh, uh, open display. So we have always have five cards out here on display. And whenever I take one is removed from here, we refill from the deck, right? Now, out here right now, there's no cards that I can play because they all have prerequisites. But what I can do is I can play scavenging. So I'll do that. And we start off here with this basically like a, not a pyramid, but like a tableau that we're starting off here. And now if the scavenging would lead to something else, like if something else required scavenging, which I, well, this one does, but it also needs pebble tools. So I can play that. If I could link or uh, sort of, do a series of cards, then I could keep playing. Because the first card I put down will score me one point. And if I you know, kept playing, I would get more and more points uh, during that turn. But I got one point and that was my turn. And now I have four cards. I will draw back up to five, which is my hand size. And I got the level three, the Homo Sapiens card. Okay, so that was my turn. Let's see what uh, the bot will do because he's in between me and Draco. So the bot will play the first card here. It's hunting. But it requires the band and scavenging. We only have scavenging, so he cannot play it. So this will go to his discard. And when you play a card, like I showed you, I can play from my hand, I can play from the common area, or I can play from an opponent's discard pile. So me or Draco will be able to play that hunting card later on. Now the bot will draw a new card, and the new card will always go to the rightmost part of his area so that uh, he plays them sort of in order because this will be a higher level card, obviously, than the ones he got in the start of the game. Let's see what Draco can do here. He has, oh wow, this is hard to pronounce, Australophytus, I don't know. <laughs> and he has, oh, he has the band. Okay, so Draco could do some linking here. He also has Gathering, Homo erectus, and he has Barter. Okay, so Draco will do the first link of the game. So he's going to play Band, and that will score him one point, because it's the first card he played this turn. And then he can take the card from the discard pile of the e bot, which required Band and Scavenging, which is out here now. And since it requires Band, Draco can link it to the Hunting there and play a second card, and that will score him two points, because it's the second card he played this turn. So that was good for Draco. He got a total of three points. Now he could keep playing if he has something that links to hunting, but he doesn't. Let's see, is there anything out here that could link? No. Another way to link, by the way, is that you could 
Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Draco can link like this. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna do another Siri connection here because hunting has this little uh, wheat symbol down in the corner. It's that type of card, basically food, I guess. And so the, the gathering also has that. So even though this gathering does not require hunting, he can still link that way. So he's gonna put out the gathering. This is the third card he played. He will get three points. So. He's a happy little dragon. He's really doing some human evolution out here. And I think that is it. Or can he link to gathering? This one is gathering, but it also requires pebble tools. We don't have that. Oh, look at this. Homo habilis does link to gathering. Okay, so Draco gets a fourth card played. And he gets, takes a five, puts in a one. So he got four points for that. And we will refill over here in the market. We got the metal. And let's see, okay, so now he played Homo habilis. So can that link to anything? And that's a the cog, cogwheel symbol. No, I think this is where it stops, but that was a crazy run for him. Okay, so I think he is done. He's going to refill the two new cards to hand, and he is done. But I mean, he scored, was it 10 points? That's insane. Good job, Draco. All right, my turn. I have nomadis. Now I can't play it because band is out here, but I want to find some kind of good, good linkage. Uh, pebble tool. We still haven't seen pebble tools. It might be over at the the automated player. Hunting hand axe. We don't. Well, hand axe is over there, but hand axe needs pebble tools as well. This needs pebble tools. So <laughs> that really restricts us, right? That really restricts us. We don't have the fire. We don't. Oh, yeah. I think the only thing I can play. The only thing I can play is the nomadies. Oh, I can do. F no, we don't have hand. Okay, so I'm going to do nomadies. You can't, you know, do good turns all the time. So I get one point. And I think that's it because I can't link anything to nomadies either. Not uh, really possible. So, okay. So I got my point, I will draw a new card. And then it is the bot. So the bot will play Pebble Tool. There it is. We were looking for it. So that means. Oh, wait, he can't play it. Because this requires uh, the hard to pronounce word. Mm, so he can't play it. So that goes into his discard. And he will just draw a new card. And this is lucky for Draco. Because now Draco has this Australo card. So he can play this one. And that's one point. And then that will lead to Pebble Tools because it requires it. So put it over there. That's two points. So now that he played Pebble Tools, let's see what could he link to then. He could do the Barter because that's Gathering in Pebble Tools. And we have uh, Gathering out here as well. We'll put that there. That's three points. But now something special happens as well, because Draco is the first to put out a card in the second era, and that earns him a special action. So uh, he will have a special action. We'll talk about that in a second, because first of all, can he link Barter to anything? Can he link Barter? Metal requires Barter, but Metal also requires the uh, Hand Axe and the Fire, so that's not going to work. And I don't think he has anything. We have this, but this requires a language as well. So, okay, he can't do that. Okay, so now he will do his special action. When he does that, well, first of all, he got three points for it, right? From getting it. But also, he could do a few different things. He could do another turn. So, he just, you know, plays another card. It's like normal. He could steal a card from me or from the bot. He could exchange a card with one of us. Or he could also call out a card. So if there's a card that he, you know, he could say, like if he says the spear and I have the spear and I can't play it, uh, it just goes out here. Um, so um, I think he will steal. He's just going to steal one card randomly from me. What we do is we shuffle up the deck like this and he's just going to take a card and he stole the spear. Okay, there we go. So then he has four cards in hand. Well, I will draw a card to replace the card that was stolen from me. And Drac will draw a card to fill up to five. And now he's into level four, even Okay. So Draco is doing good. He has a lot of points. Let's see, what can I do to catch up? So I do have... I could go for the hide. We'll see the hide. Or I could... Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to play the hand axe. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is the last... There's nine cards of each suit. So this is the last era one card. 
So first of all, I play the hand axe from the uh, common supply. I refill. I get a point. But I also get three points because now I get a special action because I was the one to end an era. So if you end an era or you start an era or if you empty out your hand, that's the way so you can get the, the trump as it's called or the special action as it used to be called. So anyway, that gets me five more, uh, five. It gets me three more points. So I'll put in two, take a five. And let's see. Now I can link stuff to the hand axe and I still have, still have my special. So if I do... Hmm. 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 If I do, I can link the hand axe. Let's see here. I can link the hide because that requires no, 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 no. It's the language. Language requires the hand axe. I play the hand axe. I can link to language. That gets me two points because it's my second card played this turn. Then can I keep on linking? Is there anything that requires language? This does, but then we also need cooking. That's not gonna work, but that's okay. Now I will do my special, uh, which is another turn. I will take another turn. Draco chose to steal a card on his. I will do another turn because that fits me very nicely here. I'll play the cooking. No, we don't have the fire. We don't have the fire. Oh. So that stops me right there. Everything needs to fire. Hmm. Because I was going to play the Homo sapiens because that requires language and cooking. So I have language if we get cooking out, but we don't have the fire. So that's not going to happen. This also requires the fire. Oh, okay. Well, I'll play the high then. Scavenging and pebble tools. We do have those. Like now we have all the yellow ones, the third level ones. So I don't need to check for that. I know that there's something. So I get to hide and this is my third card, which means I get three points. I'm starting to catch up to Draco. And is there anything that links to the hide? Yes, there is, but it requires fire. Okay, so I'm going to have to stop there. I have three cards, so I will draw two new ones. And it is the bot. So I, I think maybe the bot is sitting on the, on the fire card. We'll see. There it is. Look at that. That's the fire. So there we go. He will get a point for that. And he will also draw. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He will not because again there's no homo erectus out there's no homo erectus out okay so this is in his discord he, he hasn't managed to play a single card yet but he will get a new card drawn Let's look for us randomly in which order these come so draco's turn he has the spear he has the homo erectus so again draco's, draco's getting so lucky because again he can link like crazy I think so at least. Well, at least he can do the Homo Erectus. That's one point. Then he can do the fire as a link. So that's two more. So that's three points in total. But he's not done yet because now he played the fire. He can do cooking. So that's um, three more points. <laughs> yeah, it can get a little bit crazy like this. And let's see, can he link the cooking to something? We're gonna refill here. Um, no, because we don't have the shelter. And I don't think, no, okay, so that's where it stops for him. But he got a fair amount of points there. He's gonna draw one card. And it is my turn. So let's see here, now we have now we have the cooking and the language. I can play this one, which is good because that would be me entering the third era. So that's a good one. We also have fire and hide, so I could go for this instead if that's better. And let's see, what would that lead to? What would that lead to? I mean, I could keep going then with... We don't have the tribe. Anything that, well, this leads to whom that's not going to work. Mm, we could do the shelter. So we have the fire and... No, we don't have the spear. Right? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, so I'll do the homo sapiens. We have language and cooking. So that gets me one point for the placement. Three points for getting a special action. So that's four in total. I'll take a five and put back a one. And now I do get a special. So what do I do with that special? Yeah, I think I'll just play this because that's we have fire and high. That's my uh, second card, so that's two points. Then I draw two more. 
and it is the bot. The bot is going to play Fleek Tool. We have Homo Erectus and the Hand Axe, so for the first time, bot could play something, and he gets a point for that, and I do need to uh, do some exchanging of points here, because Drac was holding all the level, the one points. Three, six, nine, ten. And he also has two fives. So Draco gets the first 20 card of the game. Nice job, Draco. All right. So that was the bot, but he's also going to uh, draw a new card, of course. And we'll put that over there. And it is Draco's turn. So let's see here now. He could play the spear, but would that lead to any? Yeah, he could do the shelter. Yeah, he could do the tribe. The tribe would lead to. Then we need the ochre. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, he's going to do this. This is really good for him. Now it does take the game starts to take up a lot of space on the table, um, because there's so much going on here. So many cards put out. So I'm just gonna stack these bot cards over there so that it doesn't take up the space. Because Draco sees now that he can get the special. He wants to go for that. So he's going to play the spear which is uh, his first card, gets him one point, but that will link into the shelter, re requires fire and spear. That's two points, but now he also gets three points because he plays the last card in this era. He gets a special, so he gets five in total there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I think Draco will win this as he's looking now. Now, can he link shelter to anything? We will refill here as well. I don't think he can link the shelter but now he gets to do his special. So let's see, does he want to play another card then? He can't play this. We don't have fishing yet. We do have water and language. Okay, so he's going to play the tribe. And that is his third card played. So that is three more points for the little dragon. And can he link tribe to anything? No, he cannot. Okay. Well, that was a great turn for him anyway. So he gets two more cards, and it is my turn. Wow, okay, Draco is really pulling ahead here. I need to find some good play here. I have, and I have only level four and five cards, so can I do any of these? Shelter, but it needs thread and rope. We don't have that. Hmm, fire. Oh, we can do fire and tribe. So again, it's a sort of like a pattern here, like Draco finishes an era and I can start a new one. So I'm going to play Spirituality because we do have the Tribe and the Fire. And that will get me a total of four points since I am starting a new era. So I'll put in a one, take a five. Okay. So can I link Spirituality to anything? Yes, to Burial, but then we need... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the H Neanderthalis. So I can do this. So that's two more points. My second card. And can I link burial to anything? No, I don't think so. I think, as you can see, the game gets sort of more and more complicated as we go here because there's so much going on. And I will have to shift the cards a little bit. Okay, so I shifted everything down. Now, I think it doesn't say so in the rules, but I just my suggestion here, I think it would be nice if we just put the cards like this, just stack them. I mean, the only thing we need to see is the top part with the name, right? Once it's played, we don't really care about the, the prerequisites anymore. So I think you could just stack the cards like this to maybe build this up and it wouldn't take that much uh, table space. So that was my turn. I will draw two more cards and it is the bot. So let's see what it does. We have the fishing. It requires spear so he can play it and that means he'll get a point. And that's also something I found a little bit weird in this uh, game with the bot. I mean the bot just speeds up the game basically when you play a two-player game. But getting the points to the bot seems pointless <laughs> because like he picks up so few points that he can never compete from, you know, the few times I've played this game. But anyway, that, that's what the rule says. So, we'll, you know, he's just, you know, moving things along. Now he will draw a new card to fill up. And it's also nice that we can steal from the bot and so on. Now Draco's turn. He has the boat, so he has, he's happy to see that fi uh, fishing came out because then he can play this. Would the boat lead to anything though? Uh, would the boat lead to anything? I don't think so, but he's gonna play it anyway. Uh, he needs to work through his hands, so the boat gives him a point. And I think it was a quick turn for Draco this time around. Well, it could lead to this, but we don't have the thread and rope. Like this one requires the boat, Homo sapiens, and thread and rope. We have Homo sapiens, 
So we don't have the thread and rope. So okay, that, that's it. Okay, so he's gonna draw a card, and now it is my turn. So I have the tent. Also needs thread and rope. Uh, barb tip flaked. Oh, I can do barb tip. Maybe that's the only one I can do. I think so. Or I could take the. Oh yeah, yeah. This need. Okay. Do we have clothing? No, we don't. Because clothing needs thread and rope. Oh wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I am gonna play the barb tip. Gets me a point. Uh, that's it for me. I'll draw a card and let's see here. I can do some. I have three, six, nine. Okay, so I, I can put in five at least here. So we refill those stacks a little bit. And let's see here. Bot time. He is going to play. Oh, <laughs> it's, it, it seems like all the cards we are missing the bot had. Thread and rope. Needs barter and hide. We do have that. So he plays that. And again, he gets a point. And he's going to draw a new card. Now the bot could get a uh, a trump, a special action, like if he played the sec the last or the first card, um, and then he would, you know, we would reveal two cards, and we'll, you know, he can keep playing that way. But he doesn't link the cards. He doesn't do the series, and that's why he doesn't get that many points either, I guess, because that's how he gets, the, you know, the big scoring turns like Draco has been doing. So Draco has ornament, hmm, barb tip. Yeah, he can play the bow and arrow. Would that lead to anything? No, because we still don't have clothing. Oh, no, no, it will lead to the dog. Oh, wow, this is perfect for Draco. This is perfect for this is too good for him. Okay, so bow and arrow. We have the thread and rope, we have the barbed tip that gets him a one point. And he now, for the first time, Draco will be the first one into a new era because he can play the dog. It requires Homo sapiens, which we do have, and bow and arrow. So Draco gets a total of uh, five points for that. It's a second card plus three for the special, the Trump. And now he has that. So, can he link the dog to anything? Mm. Yeah, he can. He can link the dog to Maritime Exploration because we have Homo sapiens, Thread and Rope, and a boat. So he'll play that. And that was his third card right yes yeah, his third card the three more points now he still has his trump that he hasn't used i keep calling it special because that's what it was called earlier in this version of the game but it's now called the trump and we will refill here with enclosure so draco can he link the maritime exploration to anything i don't think so by the way, the way he linked the dog to this one is not by the dog. You don't, you don't need a dog to go on a sh sailing, but it has the same symbol, the little foot there. That's why he linked them. So I think it stops there, but he does have a special as well. So I think he will use that and he will play the uh, metal. So that is, what is that? That's his one, two, three. That's his fourth card. So that's four points for him. He's really taking a lead here. And we're getting close to the end of the game as well, so I don't know if I can catch up. So now, can he link the metal to anything? That's the question. No, because we still don't have the ochre, or however that is pronounced. I'm not really sure. Ochre? I think so. Well, ochre, I think, in Swedish. Um, yeah, I think we're down there. Draco will draw two more cards. And it is my turn. So, what can I do? Tent, shelter, and thread and rope. I can do that. But would the tent lead to anything? I, I need to find these. I need to find the good uh, series of cards. That's what I need. So. Oh yeah, it would lead to axis and lever. That's actually, yeah, this is actually awesome. Okay, <laughs> so I'm starting off with the tent. Shelter and thread and rope. We do have those two, don't we? Do we have shelter? Yeah, yeah, shelter is level two, okay. Yeah, we have those two. That's one point for me. Then axis and lever needs the tent and maritime exploration, which Draco put out. So I can put that up there. That is two points. I will have to do some um, exchange here soon as well. Now, then I can play the 
enclosure because that requires a dog and access and lever. That's perfect. That's the two cards we have out there. And this is the last row, which is the sixth row. So I'll play that up there. Now it's my third card plus three points more. So I'm going to get six. I'll put in four and I take ten. Because I am starting a new era, right? The last era of the game. And I get a special. That's why I got the three extra points. But I can also use that special for something. We'll see how that goes. Can I link enclosure to anything? I can not because we don't have ornament. Okay. I think, yeah, it will stop there for me. But now I can do my special. I'm going to steal a card from Draco. So let's see what Draco has here. Because I want to stop him from just starting to do some crazy links again. And I got Terracotta. I don't know if that helped that much. But Draco will draw a card to replace that. And then I will draw a card to fill up my hand to five. And that is the end of the deck. Which means now we will keep playing until one of the players are out of cards. So bot time. He is playing. Oh, there we go. There's the ochre. Yeah, it's like painting, right? Yeah. Okay. So he will get a point for that. And he's not getting a new card because there's no stack left. Now Draco can probably do some crazy stuff. Let's see here. Well, he has to ornament, which needed ochre and tribe. So to do that. But Draco is a smart little dragon. So instead he's going to play preservation because that means he will end the third era. So that's a total of four points for him. Uh, three for the trump and then one for the placement. So, all right. Now, can he link preservation to anything? Can he do that? I don't know. Hmm, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so his special will be to play another card instead. He's going to play the ornament. That's his second card played. That's two points. And then that will lead to a clothing. So that's his third card. That's three more points. And I can only say congratulations to Draco as <laughs> the points look now. So he played the clothing. Now can that lead to anything? Oh uh, yeah, it could lead to the needle. We need barbed tip, which we have, and the clothing, which we do have as well. So that's his fourth card played. Four more points. Can needle lead to anything? No, because we don't have the blade tool. Okay, yeah, well, look at this. Basketry needs preservation and needle. And Draco just played needle, so he can play basketry. That's his fifth card. Five more points. <laughs> can basketry lead to anything? Oh, wow, Draco, you're just, you know. Okay, now he has to stop there. He has three more cards in hand, and it is my turn. But I should be able to play some stuff now. Should be. I mean, I have the, the bleed tool. No, 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 we don't have the bleed tool. That's the thing. I can't play any of these. Tent burial and trade route. We don't have the trade route. Pottery. We don't have pottery yet. We don't have the sculpture. Wow, I can't play anything. I can't play anything at all. So since I can't play any cards, instead I will have to discard a card and end my turn. And of course the one I discard now, I don't want to discard something that Draco can just take, pick up and play. I'll probably discard like the fermentation, because since we don't have pottery, it doesn't feel that dangerous. So I will have a discard pile over here for the first time in the game now. And then it is the bot. So the bot is playing specialization. Oh, now the bot will actually get some points because he will end the era. So he will get a total of four points there. Three plus one for the placement. And that was his turn. He's not going to draw any cards, obviously. Well, he gets a trump, though. So we are going to look at two of his cards here. And he's going to play them if he can. So carving. He can do that. And blade two. He can do that as well. Okay, so he's going to play both of these. Nice. Okay, so now he gets... That's two and that's three, so he gets another five points. Now he does get some points there in the rare case where he actually gets a trump going. So Draco's turn. Let's see if he can end this. He has the myth and the painting. But I think it will be that one will be tricky for him. 
Now the painting, the painting needs metal ochre. Yeah, this one he can play. And that will lead to the myth. No, because then we need a sculpture. We don't have a sculpture out. He's just going to play the painting. And he is done. My turn. I'm sitting with the sculpture here. But... Yeah, now I can play it because the bot played carving a bleed tool. So I'm going to play the sculpture for a point. Can I link that to anything? Yeah, the terracotta needs ochre and sculpture. So I can do this for two more points. And we are running out of space, Draco. Can you scoot over? Two more points. And the terracotta, will that lead to anything? Mm, don't have... We still don't have the trade route. We don't have myth either, okay. So here's the trade route. I'm sitting holding it. Okay, so the terracotta does not lead to anything. So that's the end of my turn. Last card for the bot is pottery. But he cannot play it because we don't have semi-sedentarization. -sedent so that just goes into dis his discord. It's Draco's turn. And Draco could play the myth, right? Yeah. No, yeah, because now the sculpture is out. But we don't have the semi-sedentarization. Okay, but he's going to play that. That gives him one point. It is my turn. And I will be able to finish this off here with the trade route. So that is a total of four points. And then this will link with tent, burial, and trade route. So I can play that as well. So that is my that's six points for me in total. And that's also the last card of my deck. So I'll put in four. I'll put in 14 actually. And take a 20. And that is the end of the game. I have emptied out my hand. So uh, what do I have? I have 30, 42 points. But I also lose a point because I had a card in my discard pile. You lose a card for each, each uh, or you lose a point for each card you have in your hand or discard pile at the end of the game. The bot had a card in discard pile, will lose a point. And Draco had one, so he will lose a point. But I don't think it matters because the Draco has 20 30, 40, 55. Okay, that's 64 points. Of Draco is a huge winner in this game, and you know, he looks really happy over there. So, yeah, that is Discovery the Evolution game, the third variant Discovery Explore. That's how we play that one with the points. If you want to check out the other one where it's all about just getting out of the rid of the cards in your hand, it works the same in most ways, but there is a little bit of a different uh, style of playing there. You can go check that out on the channel as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Be like Draco. Follow board games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.